biggest criteria that they have about being a Brooks Bandit is you got to make sure that you're going to be not afraid to get in front of shots. Here's a turnover. Chow in front. They score. Ty Mappin off a turnover. We talked about turnovers in the Brooks end, but it's one in the Portage end that finds its way to the back of the net. Chow to Mappin, and the Bandits open the scoring. It's one nothing. A turnover inside the Portage zone leads to Oliver Chow on the left wing, centering a pass across on the glove side. Ty Mappin going over the glove of Brock Aiken, and it's a one to nothing lead for Mappin, who was the tournament leading scorer in last year's WCC in Estevan, Saskatchewan. Mappin so far in the tournament. For Leipzig lost it in his skates. Perkusik took the time and space away, had the puck come to him, and now he'll Slowly cruise in over the Terrier line. He's going to hold on. He's going to shoot. He scores. Nick Perkusik short-handed. Just slowly meandered his way into the zone. Got, him, got himself into a shooting position. Rips it home. And the Bandits take a 2-0 lead on the shorty by Perkusik. What an outstanding rush by Nick Perkusik. As this is just going from his own end back the other way and cuts through the defense of the Portage Terriers and a quick little wrister from the high slot that beats Aiken on the glove side. That puck was a laser by Perkusik and the Bandits cap Sean and Vashon denied on a gorgeous opportunity right in front. Big save by Aiken to keep it two to nothing. Here's McCarr centering, pass, they score! Power play finally gets going for the Bandits. It's Connor Jean with just five seconds to go in it. Quick release after Makar centering pass, and the Bandits now increase their lead. It's 3 0. All right, well, that didn't last very long, but Connor Jean right in front on a nice pass from Makar, able to put it up and over the blocker side of Aiken, and the Bandits take a 3 0 lead, scoring on the power play. It's Connor Jean who had an excellent game uh, yesterday afternoon, where it was a goal and an assist effort for Connor Jean. Finds himself a goal here in this hockey game, gives the Bandits a 3 0 lead. It's his second goal of the tournament. 79 seconds into the period. Bandits power play now one for two in the hockey game. That'll do a, a lot to give them some confidence on the man advantage as Aiken stops up a rolling puck at the front of the net. No chance on Aiken too. That quick release from Gene, extremely accurate Nine right up. The Bandits. I thought I saw Cody Thompson head to the dressing room as well. A couple of Terriers went to the dressing room and again we're sort of, we're next to Cody Bueller, the play-by-play -play announcer of the Terriers. He didn't really seem to find anything, but it's five on three bandits as they work the outside. It's O'Connor to McCarr. Kale McCarr returns to O'Connor right side. He'll work his way down, left it into the skates of Fu. Fu for O'Connor. Tina McCarr for a rocket, he scores! And it's stuck in the net. Wow. That is the puck sitting right there, is it not? It is sitting in the mesh. Whoa. A absolute rocket it is in the mesh i have never seen that before alashay weber as close to going through the mesh that howitzer got stuck in the mesh linesman can't even get it out what a shot <laughs> that was insane mccarr had time to step into that one that's why this kid's going to be a national hockey league draft pick oh my goodness that puck is it just stuck there. Finally dislodged. It took two oh linesmen. My. Six and a half to play second period. Bandits leading four to nothing. And they control the puck now. McCarr, left circle. Rolls it down low for Mappin. Ty Mappin, room to move. High slot, Mappin, back door. McCarr scores! Oh, so the passing is pretty. Here at the SOEC, McCarr's got two in a row as he finishes off a passing play. It's an even strength goal. And the Bandits in cruise control, leading five to nothing. After a bomb on a car, it's a depth little pass that finds them and a gorgeous passing play by the Brooks Bandits that puts them up by a five to nothing score. Tic-tac-toe into the back of the net. This is why this team ran through the AJHL. Outstanding passing play by the Bandits and they lead it by a five to nothing score. So the Bandits still with six minutes to play in the second period. They caught, there's a turnover. Here's a chance for the Terriers to let it go. Hendricks moves his way to the boards. Trying to find Cox with it. Got poked past. Boy, 18 seconds left. Uh, must have said something. Grant Tyson uh, 
gave them the, uh, the you're done. So five nothing, first shutout of the tournament who come to Mitch Benson, his first of the tournament, four and oh. Uh, the Brooks Bandits will take this game by a score of five nothing. They will have a couple of days off now before they play for the Western Canada Cup.